Hello everyone. Hi Sarge. Hi Vivian. Hello Haru. Hope we're all having a good night. Still haven't played any games on Twitch, huh Sarge? Hope we're all having a good night tonight. We're going to play Divinity Original Sin 2. Um, which is a game I've never played before. And I don't know much about it. But it was a gift to me, and so we're going to play it. That's right, folks. If you buy me games, I will play them on stream. Um, what about number one? Don't know anything about it. Don't know a damn thing about it. This is the one I was given. This is the one I'm playing. <laughs> um, before we get into today's events, we got some packs to open as usual. Uh, we're going to we're going to open up I got some different stuff today. I got some blister packs. Um, first up, we have one of the worst sets one of the worst sets um, ever printed, possibly. <laughs> this set's real dog shit. Uh, I got some just to see. This is a little joke. A little, a little hee hee ha ho hee hee hee. Uh, if we get a collector's rare, you know, that's like the only thing worth in here. And even then, the collector's rares are like, meh. Car Trooper is kind of nice, I guess. They look, they look nice. I would like to get some of the pearly stuff, but it's not good. So, I don't know. Uh, yes, amazing defenders. Amazing defenders. Uh, alright. First one up, pearly happy memory. Piri Reyes map. That's like a card used in almost exclusively jank decks. Um, Ixies Reborn. I think it's getting some use in some other stuff now, though. Saravis, the Ancient and Ascended. Oh shit, I got Ohimi, the Manifested Mekanko. That's uh, an ultra rare. That's pretty cool. Gizmic, Orochi, the Serpentron, Sky Flasher, and Card Trooper. Gotta check these. Nope, not Collector's Rares. <laughs> Ohimi is not bad to have, I guess. I don't know, Mekanko is pretty bad, but it works with Libromancer, I guess? Uh, let's open another pack of it. Another pack of Amazing Defenders. That's fair, Vivian. <laughs> Alright, pack number two. Let's see what we grab. Ah, oh, you hear those noises? The Great Mikanko Ceremony. Rescue Ace Airlifter. Isold, Two Tales of Noble Knights. Not a collector's rare. Only a super rare, too. Machine Duplication, Mikanko Rivalry, Extinguish! Sprite's Blessing. It's all it's in all caps, Extinguish. So you gotta say it like that. What a terrible set. I have a I have a short coming out about this set. Uh it'll be up on my YouTube channel on Thursday. So uh Keep an eye out for that, I suppose. And then I got two two packs of some good good cards. I f I didn't want to just have amazing defenders because I knew it would be tra trash. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna open up some Darkwing Blast. Darkwing Blast is a very good set. I was I, it's, I've been amazed by how good the cards coming out of Darkwing Blast have been. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, take a look at some of these. Amazonist War Chief, Hanshi Kudo Spirit, Amazonist Silver Swordmaster, Tribrigade Showdown, Branded Regained, Blackwing Twin Shadow, Laughing Puffin. Laughing Puffin. Dragonic Pendulum, Curse of Aramitier. Okay, not a, not a great, not a great pack of Darkwing Blast, but you know, maybe the next one will be good. We got, we got two of this one, too. So any anything worth anything. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> anything worth playing. Haven't found any yet. Well, I guess Esol is technically worth playing. But uh 
that's a reprint, so I'm not. And I don't play warrior decks really. Tear Limit Scream, well, that's something worth playing, but I already have it. I'm pretty sure. Turbo Tainted Hot Rod GT19, awesome. Amazon is Pet Liger King. Amazon is Silver Swordmaster. Prediction Princess Tarot Treath. I didn't even know they made a new tr- Prediction Princess. I forgot about that. Scareclaw Decline, Original Bamboo Sword, Laughing Puffin. Laughing Puffin. Prediction Princess Biblio Muse. Terrible. What a bad opening. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Let's go to the game scene. Let's get gaming, gamers. I'm just going to put all this stuff over here. There we go. All right, we ready, gamers? Story. Single player. Uh, story, story mode? I don't, I don't know what these mean. <laughs> me when I'm exploring, me when I'm classic, me, me when I'm a tactician, me when I'm story. Wait, this is when I'm explorer. Me when I'm explorer. There we go. That's how you that's how you do comedy right there. You just say the same thing four times. It's the rule of fours. Is it difficulty? Cause it's not very clear if it is. Okay. A classic ro I guess it is. Wow, what a terrible <laughs> what a terrible system for difficulty. <laughs> classic role playing experience. Prepare a fair but forgiving. What this one has two different levels. Okay, I guess we'll just do classic mode. It's pretty classic. Oh. Why do you gotta go through my firewall, Divinity 2? Original Sin 2? Ah. Character Creation. You can select an origin hero or create a custom hero. Origin character, I mean. Understood. Mm hmm. Understood. Un un uh, uh, understood. Uh, un un understood. Okay. Kidoki. Um, gonna need to turn up that. Around there, maybe? Maybe like around there. Music down? General of the House of War, I You're so quiet. 
So, Sarge, do you think I need to turn the music down? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure just just voice up that needs to happen. Famed, of course, for my unique red skin and unparalleled skills as a general of the House of War. I uh, okay. How about we do? I guess we're gonna have to do it like this. So we turn up the master volume slightly, and then we turn down the music slightly. Yeah, because it's fucking loud. <laughs> but I need him to be louder. Famed, of course, for my unique red skin and unparalleled skills as a general of the House of War, I, the Red Prince, was raised within the vast palaces of the fabled Forbidden City. I think that's probably I was fine. destined to become the next emperor. But my ambitions suffered a bit of a setback when I fell from grace for cavorting with demons. Well, you shouldn't have done that. Now, I'm exiled and hunted by assassins. But I assure you, I remain undaunted. And as determined as ever to claim my rightful throne. Yeah, he's he's a snake guy. Okay. I used to be a slave. Kept under the thumb of the master. The bastard that made me hunt down my own kin. How did he do that, you ask? She has a long neck. With the living scar you see on my cheek, this horror that takes no more than a song sung by Master Dearest to control my very thoughts. But now the tables have turned. I broke my shackles. And when I finally find him... I will make the master sing a very different kind of song. Cool. We out here singing songs. Once I was a crusader for the Divine Order. I pledged my life to Lucian the Divine. The war changed everything. He sent me to save the elves I grew up amongst. I arrived too late. Lucian ordered the use of Death Fog against the Black Ring. Annihilating everyone I once knew in the process. Now I'm a mercenary killer. One of the infamous Lone Wolves. And my next target... ...is none other than Lucian's own son. Well, we're not playing him. Look at this little guy. He's a pirate. Yar. She's thinking about someone I used to know. My cousin. A queen, in fact. A tyrant. I tried to stop her, but things don't always go according to plan. She cast me out to a forgotten island. And made short work of my allies, too. Lucky for me, I was able to commandeer a ship and began a new life for myself out on the high seas. Aye, but I hear that the Queen is at it again. And there's something darker behind her madcap schemes this time. If I don't stop her, I don't know who will. Uh -huh. Lady, a lady. All my 
life, I've been a performer, a musician, beloved and celebrated by all. But I have a secret. I'm also a playground for sprites and spirits and worse. The voice that rings inside me now is darker than any that came before. Almost caused a bunch of my fans to rip each other to pieces. <laughs> but you can trust me. I've got this under control. <sighs> Step one. Find out who or what is trying to take control of my mind. Step two. Make it sorry it ever tried. Aha. Uh -huh. I like this guy. <laughs> oh, don't stare. How would you look after eons in some ghastly crypt? Your people are rather prone to death. Mine are not. Yet when I emerged from my completely unjustified imprisonment, I found them gone. Our culture forgotten. Any trace of the world <laughs> I knew all but obliterated. <laughs> Spooky, and scary skeletons. face beneath an ever shifting mask for fear you savages will attack me. That is how I wander this strange world. Trying to uncover the truth about a history you primitive people never even knew existed. I don't like him anymore. <laughs> He's got a little bit of uh, social Darwinism in him. Oh, these are the custom ones. I see. Undead dwarf! Undead dwarf! Look at him! <laughs> what? <laughs> Beard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck. All right, uh, Vivian, would you what would you suggest for for starting? Should I make a new character or get a one of the one of those uh, characters, one of the pre-mades? You're a safe bet, Sarge. What do you mean, look through the preset classes? I already did. Oh, you mean like that? Oh. Wait, what, what was this one? Metamorph. Why does he have a trident? The Aquaman? Uh, why, are you, why are you looking at the guy? Anyways. Um, lizard. <laughs> I can't get over the undead dwarf. I cannot get over the undead dwarf. It fucking kills me.
A lot of floating weapons. Jesus. Oh, we can put this guy in shit too? Oh my god. We can put this guy in ridiculous outfits. Ooh. This one looks so funny. This one looks amazing. <laughs> like on the other people, it looks like fucking normal, but on him, on him, ridiculous. Aha. Yeah, yeah, I could see that there. Oh, shit, there's helmets. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> the undead dwarf is so funny! <laughs> We could do, could try one of these preset characters. I kind of want to, I kind of want to just make, make a character, I think. Why do the elves look like the Na'vi? They look, they look a little bit Na'vi. Okay, so... <clears throat> Yeah, I, I think I want to just do, just do a, a human maybe. Maybe do a human, and then we'll um, look through these. Let's toggle helmet on. I want to see what they look like with the helmet. Yeah, because if we play a human, we get the extra bonuses <laughs> from being a fucking human. Because like, <laughs> wait, did I? I thought I toggled it on. Oh! It just toggles off every time we switch. That's annoying. Holy moly! Metamorph is funny. That's awful. Okay, now we're back. I think... What if we go with Metamorph? Get that goofy hat? B bamboo? Alabaster? We should probably, um, <laughs> take off the helmet while we do this. <laughs> Bisk. Shell. Wheat. Wheat. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay, we're putting that back on. Okay, which which flavor of potato do we want?
Got a got a bunch of different potatoes to choose from. Seventeen something. Let's go with five. I like five. Airstyle. Ho, oh, hello. All right. Sure, sure, sure. All right. Let's go with that. Care color, lumber. Give me a real fucking color name, please. For the love of God. Ooh, was that a little yellow in the back there? Interesting. But we zoom in. That'll do. Hair color, surgeon. Try again. Try again. Great three. You're not trying to escape, are you? I'll yield. I'll yield. Almost got me that time. I like tick trickster. Bam. <clears throat> I feel like I shouldn't fuck with these, huh? We did the build preset, and I probably shouldn't fuck with these. Ah, I see. Calm and mild, I see. Strange. Ah, fuck with them? <laughs> Understood. Understood. Sure. Why not? Um, sure. Don't need finesse, eh? We want... We want... Con constitution uh huh will we, li will we like wits we like wits I like wits hmm um I got no clue what I'm doing help help me All right, so should I leave that at where I've got it or should I put put some more into it? Okay, so then we put the other one in the Constitution then Does that look good Sure <clears throat> Our abilities are fine though, right? And our, our skills? Chameleon cloak. <laughs> fair, fair Sarge. Skills are fine. Abilities might want to be messed with. Holy moly. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Take off two handed and put into warfare. Warfare increases all physical damage you deal. Okay. Whereas two-handed increases damage when using two-handed melee weapons. I see. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> I 
Confirm. We're good to go. Talents. Wait, now go look at the skills. Oh. There's more of them. Why are there... I know why there's more of them, but why are there more of them? <laughs> okay, so... Okay. We'll just leave that there for now, then. Opportunist. Ability to perform attacks of opportunity. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, and like, like, I know why. I just don't... I don't... I don't... <laughs> I'm confused. Is the problem. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh god. So much reading. Talk to animals. Holy shit. Ooh, but Opportunist is really good though. <laughs> Select tags. Female. Female. Um. <laughs> Shut up, Sarge. I could morph people into animals. I should be able to talk to them after I do it. Yeah. We'll take a we'll take a gesture. We took the trickster voice. Might as well get a gesture. Um. Can you choose all of them? No, you can choose two of them. Read, Sarge. Read. Fuck it. That's what my heart is telling me. Instruments. Reading is hard. As a Yu-Gi-Oh player, I should know. <laughs> um, mm, this is... What's cello? I'm feeling like a cello. Okay, is that all I need to do? Do I need to click this? What is this? <laughs> Select each of them to listen. Go with the cello. Okay, so I can just hit the start game button then. We're good to go. Let's go. I'm sure. Whew. I'm I'm welcome. It all happened like I knew it would. It did. A single drop of source magic. And like flies to honey, the monsters swarmed. The rebel panicked. The carnage began. And the magisters pointed their fingers at me. Just as I'd planned. All right. I was shackled and collared and sent to Fort Joy. Wait, that's an ironic name. I'd come here to kill Godwoken. 
but instead I became part of their story. Definitive edition. This is the definitive edition. So, still a bit groggy, are we? Don't worry. The sedative will wear off soon enough. <laughs> they truly were After Effects fire particles. That is true. <laughs> Easy Continue. Now. No need to hurry. Get your bearings and report to me upstairs. Is this a little quiet? Should I turn up the vo the, the the audio just a little bit? Tad quiet. Yeah, I think so too. So it it wasn't a dream after all me when it's not a dream let's see here what am i doing audio there we go oh it's one of these huh game saved camera stop following your party members whoa Oh no, there's two ways to go. Oh no. Actually, there's three ways to go. Actually, no, I want to do more tutorial. Give me the crate. Okay. Hmm, we can turn the camera. Hold Alt to highlight stuff? Ah, okay. Oh. Okay. Industrial light and magic. <laughs> I, oh wait <laughs> oh it's, it still goes wait does it go all the oh it doesn't go all the way up <laughs> do you do you think it's locked I don't know about that whoa that's so weird an animal sty Freight or food? Let's, let's talk. Shaking her fluffy coat, the sheep eyes you balefully. Her rectangular eyes like letterboxes to the void. With one sharp hoof, she kicks you right in the shin. No! That's true. I'm always saying that. Yeah, here, here we go. See, I can rotate the camera. I should search for the key. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. Take, take. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Viv. Did you expect a needle? Shut up, narrator. Oh, I, I just picked that up. I did not expect that.
Oh my. Ooze barrel, secret <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, secret of the ooze. Come along. <laughs> I was worried I got to move that again. Damn. What about the chair? I could sit in the chair. But I can't go in the desk and sit in the chair at the same time. Interesting. Um Yeah, if only we had, we had picked the thing to talk to animals. I told you all, I told you all it would be useful to talk to animals. Hi Mira. It with water. Fuck it with water. <laughs> well, we certainly do have a bucket with water. Um, I think we're good to go now? Go up the stairs? I don't see anything. <laughs> Very fair. <gasps> I'm gonna turn off these lights. I'm gonna light them again. I'm gonna turn them off. I'll need to write to headquarters right away. I just like stealing stuff. The hell? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I was not expecting it to do that. Empty. Yeah, but like, how am I stealing all this stuff if I am imprisoned is the problem I'm having. Oh, God. I'm just not going to touch that for now. Want some rah? Course you do. Why, you're looking. There you are. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Oh, not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the chap in charge of the logs. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarters. Muse that by the room's shape, you can tell you're on a Lucian-class frigate. But why? Why? Because we're at sea, of course, and have been for several days. Index fingers pressed to her lips, she pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. Yeah, I can be a scholar, Jester. What, what, what of word. it? You do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that sedative. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, all you need to know is that we're en route to Fort Joy. Oh, Joy. A new life awaits. And if you're a particularly good girl, perhaps a cure as well. An end to source for good. Hmm. 
pull out the thing around your neck futilely, futilely, demand to know what she called you. Why, for my peace of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? See what happens. She might be playing a trick. Don't do it. Oh, do go on. I won't hold it against you. <laughs> Promise. Shake your head. Not gonna do it. My, aren't we a meek little lamb? Perhaps I needn't have collared you at all. Though it does look darling on you. <laughs> Hello? So let's just get it on, shall we? Because to answer your question, what this collar does is this. It makes you unable to cast source. For your own peace of mind, of course. Yours and the whole world's. I'm going to take my leave. <laughs> That's a map. <laughs> Everything's spick and span. <laughs> okay. Do, really. On I go. <laughs> Hi, Mira. The gods, there's, there's been a murder here. Behind the magister, a blooded mass lies in a heap. Gore and limbs lie at odd angles. You can't make out a face amid the mess. Peer into the room and ask what happened. There's been a murder. A sorcerer was killed by one of your own. Lucky you were busy getting your collar fitted at the time, or you'd be a suspect like the rest of them. <gasps> Waters is investigating. She'll figure out who did it. Always does. Ask if he knew the dead man? It's a small ship. His name was Finn. Oddball. Looked to me like he saw something he wished he hadn't before he came here. We'll find out who did it. One way or another. Another. I think that means don't do that. Or you'll be a bad person. It seems as though there's a pattern. Ugly sight, isn't it? Burns me up this happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky no void walk and follow the source that did this. <laughs> Ask why she's letting you so close to the crime scene. She looks up at you with a mirthless smile. I was on duty in your room when the murder happened. You were asleep the whole time. Didn't even stir. You're one of the only indisputably innocent people on the ship. Unless you can commit murder in your sleep, of course. Maybe I can. <laughs> Ask if she's investig investigating her fellow magisters as well. Finn was killed by Sauce. If a magister could do that, there wouldn't be a magister. Mm -hmm. It looks more like a passenger managed to slip their collar. And the rest, well, you see the evidence in front of you. Listen. I could use someone to keep their ears open among the passengers. Sometimes they clam up in front of a uniform. A uniform? Bring me a good lead, and I'll throw in a shiny gold coin for you. How about that? Hmm. Tough questions, <clears throat> or tough choices, I suppose. Um, my price is higher than Not that. Not in here, it isn't. You let me know if you hear anything. Whoever did this is dangerous. Yeah, I mean, to be fair though, Sarge, they are killing us. <laughs> That's the only thing I, I'm worried about, uh, is that while well, <laughs> that they are killing us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we gotta we gotta go uh, have a discussion with the corpse. <laughs> to sing. I did. It was you. You're a human, like me. That means 
because we're friends already. My mum told me not to make friends with lizards and elves and dwarves and stuff. But I think they're okay. Shut up. Wow! You look cool. I like your hair. I like your eyes. I like your colour. I have one too. Shut up. Do you know Losa? She's a really good singer. I'm better though. Listen. La 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 la. Oh my god. Oh, How are you dealing with these kids? <clears throat> Wife. Oh. Hello? Would you please tell this very charming gaggle of not at all brat like babes that I am by no accounts this loser woman, nor do I sing, in fact. I'm deathly, deathly allergical. <laughs> allergical? <laughs> Play along and take her arm in a grin. How what? very correct you are, spouse of mine. Madam Josephine Gribbles de Peeve refuses to be confused with anyone else. What? What's so funny? Her pinched face cracks into a great grin, and she shoos the children away from her with a laugh. Yeah, okay, you found me out. Go on and get, and maybe I'll sing you something when I'm good and ready. She turns to you, dark-eyed and dirty head, and smiles flatly. Gotta keep ourselves entertained, haven't we? That's true enough. You presume right. You know anything about the murders? Nope. Trying not to find anything out either. Ignorance is bliss. The utterer, the better. Suddenly, her eyes cloud to an unnatural black. Grayish veins run down her face, and her mouth tightens into a cruel sneer. As quickly as they came, the clouds clear. She smiles as though no change came over her. Good luck, Chief. <laughs> All right, McLeod. Doggy. What's in a name? I don't like comedy. Oh. Well, you aren't here on my list, Scrammy. We're trying to catch a killer here. Not yet, Sarge. We're gonna talk to people first. Figure out what's going mad. on. Mad? No. You one of them? A divine order loyal. They killed a sorcerer, you know. They'll hide the evidence well enough, but make no mistake. A broad dwarf sits totally upright on the bench, eyes closed, palms face up on his knees. His beard is a cascade of meticulous plaits, each one braided through with golden medallions. He raises an eyebrow as you approach, but doesn't open his eyes. Listen up, Ghetto. You hear that? As soon as the Inquisitor gets here, we'll hang him. What am I meant to be hearing? The ship, of course. Quiet and listen to the sound of the ship. A wave of sound washes over you. The unintelligible chatter of your shipmates. The groaning of wood from floor to ceiling. The boom, crash, and crackle of waves around you. Complaints from the sea itself. Mm -hmm. And... Ship is moaning like a sick man. Sick as a leper's cat. From the state of it, I'd say she's being cared for by a bunch of beardless babes who never loved anyone but their own mums. <laughs> All right. But there's more. Listen close. Close your eyes and let the ambient sounds of the ship fade away. There now, just like that. Squee. <laughs> Mr. Beast. <laughs> Aha. His eyes snap open as his countenance breaks into an expression of joy. One great paw claps you on the back. The other catches you before you lose your footing. There. You heard it, didn't you? I knew it. I knew it. Aye, this is good news, ghetto. Good news. I heard it. What is it supposed to be? It's the wheel. The wheel. Don't you see, you beautiful idiot? Squeaks whenever the helmsman jerks it clockwise, which means we are heading east. Wheel. Wheel. Oh, my beard. That means if we've been traveling for, yes, only 10.34 nautical miles to Fort Joy. Must be a practice sailor. What does the figure mean to you? Captain, actually. And that figure tells me we're getting close to the joy. Close to what lies beyond it, too. <laughs> uh, 
The dwarf leans back from the table and strokes his beard, gold medallions jingling merrily. His eyes roll over to you. I gave a cop $100,000 to get put on a prison ship, and you won't believe what happened next. I don't know what Mr. Beast sounds like, actually. That'll be all. Thank you kindly, ghetto. <clears throat> Cock and eyebrow. He continues stroking his beard, a beatific smile on his lips, and doesn't acknowledge you anymore. Sure. As soon as the Inquisitor gets here, we'll hang you right over the side of this ship with it. Please, please, please. Um. It was one of them. I know it. Fame. That's not a that's not a skeleton man. The elf is reading a volume of Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia. He looks up, his big round eyes scanning your body, absorbing every detail. He reaches out and takes your hand, turning it this way and that, examining it from every angle. Finally, he pinches your skin, gently tugging at it. Fascinating. He sits back and returns to his book. Flicking quickly from page to page, completely oblivious to your presence. Ask whether the book he's reading is any good. It is simultaneously too detailed and insufficient. I know the beginning of this tale and the end, but I am rather missing the middle. I know that feeling, actually. Tell me, what do you know of your... our world's history? <laughs> Let's do the scholar answer. Oh, please. I have no interest in that. Your books are too full of it already. No, I want to know about the Celestial. I want to know about your gods. This text tells me that they created all creatures, but nothing of what came before. Where did these gods come from? Who are their people? Where are the others of their kind? Hmm. Some things just aren't known. <sighs> of course you don't have any useful information. Why did I expect anything else? Now please, run along. I have a world to decipher. Why are you so curious about the gods? No amount of pestering <coughs> will get the elf to take his eyes off his book or respond to your questions. You think me mad? Take it easy, Chief. You don't want to. What are you trying to hear, anyway? I'll tell you if you can keep it quiet long enough for well, me to well. listen. Well, well. What have we here? A fresh face in this stale hell. Let's size you up, shall we? See if you'll do. All right. The lizard looks you up and down, like a farmer would a fetching horse. All of a How sudden, dare. he grips you firmly by the chin with the intent of inspecting your teeth. What on earth is he doing? I'm inspecting your teeth, in case that wasn't spectacularly obvious. Hmm. There's some discoloration, but I've seen worse. After all, one can't expect to find prime merchandise on a squalid little ship like this. Now then, to business. You will answer me three questions. The first one is this. Can you cook? I can hardly tell a turkey from a turnip. Oh, goodness, no. And don't even mention the demon's testes that are turnips. <laughs> what? On to the second question. Can you knit, weave? In short, uh, tailor? Stick a thumb through one of the holes in your garb and say this provide cool in the summer. Yes, I can tell from your vagabond chic. A bag is as good as a shirt. What are you wearing? Style. I shouldn't be getting my hopes up. You're, you're wearing the same thing I'm wearing. On then to my final query. Have you the ability to administer the upkeep of one's personal appearance? The delicate art of cosmetics is what I'm after. Try to recall the last time you bathed. Just as I thought. That explains what's besieging my nostrils. So, three questions asked, three questions answered. Let's evaluate, shall we? As per your own testimony, you have the taste buds of a dung beetle, the fashion sense of a monkey in a clown suit, and your personal hygiene reminds one of a carcass rotting in the sun. That's about right. That won't do at all, see? 
I'm sad to say I must deny you the opportunity to be my slave. Ever so sorry. I have half a mind to punch you in the face. You should probably come to terms with the fact that you've half a mind full stop. You'll never attain the rank of slave with manners such as that. Still, hone your skills, and one day you may just qualify for a position in a lesser household than mine. You keep dreaming, you hear? I hear anyway. I'll tell you. I spent my life singing for my slaves to bring me my supper. Finer fare than boiled roots and rotten tubers, too. Meanwhile, the magisters feast on honeyed meat behind this very wall. <gasps> the indignity. Man, the lizards suck. It was one of them. I'm busy watching for clues, sorcerer. Go take your sob story somewhere else. Okay. I'm gonna turn off the light, though. A scruffy man lounges against the wall with scarred arms folded. A sly smile playing on his face, he stares across at the Magister guarding him. Noticing you, he straightens and beckons for you to come closer. Watch your back, new fish. There's a murderer on board and I'd bet three months pay it's this tramp Ifan. Rolling his eyes at the Magister's warning, the man named Ifan beckons again. Move closer. He leans in and adjusts your collar with a sharp tug balancing its weight so it no longer presses unpleasantly on your neck. He winks. Pinches less that way, right? Hocking a phlegmy gobbit in your general direction, the sullen magister settles back to his task of glowering at Ifan. And now, you. Ask him why the magister suspects him. We used to know each other, more's the pity. I was his commander many, many, many moons ago. Isn't that right, Vic? Standing far back from Ifan, the tight-faced magister draws one finger across his throat in an elaborate fashion, but says nothing. <laughs> Pros of the lizards? Hot. Cons of the lizard? More British than most. That's amazing. <laughs> Ifan grins, flashing pointed white teeth. Same as he was at 14 years old. Only difference is, somebody gave him a bigger sword, and now he's Johnny Big Pants. Ask Ifan what he did to do, find himself at the mercy of a subordinate. Long story. Maybe I'll tell you about it in the joy. Away from interested parties. Uh, did you do it, though? No. Cool. The dead man, Finn, is it? I'd no business with him. And I wouldn't put a man down without good reason. Bear. He glances over at Magister Victor, who's staring back at him with pointed intensity. Damn shame sheer annoyance isn't reason enough. Ask if he knows anything where you're headed. The joy. I've heard a lot. Nothing good. No surprise there, since Bishop Alexander runs the show. Wonder if we'll get to meet the ringmaster himself. That's one acquaintance you're not eager to make. Not eager to bow before the great Bishop Alexander, son of the Divine himself. My sentiments exactly. But Vic here will blow a blood vessel if he hears you talking like that. What are you conspiring about over there? You! What's your name? Oh, don't mind him. Vic's just got a bee in his bonnet. And that bee is me. Name! And me is the bee. My name is Victor. Magister Victor looks at you suspiciously, then scrawls something illegible down in a tiny notebook. He scowls at you as he stows the notebook back in his voluminous robes. Away with you, at once. Ifan performs an elaborate pantomime of keeping quiet, one finger in front of his lips as he leans back against the wall. They don't care That's locked. We're like cattle to How dare. All right. I'll give you that An elf sits it. tucked away in a dark spot, lazily rolling dice onto the surface of a barrel. Dice! They sound like the dry cackling of an old witch. Snake eyes. She chuckles. I bet that's just what they'll look like. Wonder what she's doing. Rolling dice? Deciding fates. <laughs> Whose fate is she deciding? Don't worry, honey. It isn't yours. Okay. She looks you up and down with the merest tint of a coy smile on her lips. Never say never, though. <laughs> Is that right? Don't be so 
Ask if she can read the future in Kyle she eyes you quite seriously. Why not? <laughs> not the future, no. But I can read the past in flesh. One of the perks of being an elf, you see. I'm quite good at it, too. I could lick your arm and tell you how you spent the night before last. Shall I? Don't see why not. She gives your arm a vigorous stroke of the tongue. Efficient, like a cat grooming. <laughs> hmm. You were in a cellar with other sorcerers. As everyone lay sleeping, you lay awake thinking of someone back home. A very special someone. Oh, really? You were reminiscing <laughs> about the things you used to do together. <laughs> well, it was half the easiest prediction ever. That's exactly right. Of course it is. The truth's right there, skin deep. But don't you worry, darling. Your secret's safe with me. I don't lick and tell. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> hmm. It seems. Yes, register, ma'am. Good, good. Magister Williams has just about done with the last passenger. You faring okay so far? I've been through worse. Trust me, with Bishop Alexander in charge, things will get a lot better from here on out. He's god -woken, you know. You head on in now. Williams will get you short at fast. god -woken. I'm turning off this lantern. Keep the bolts, keep those bolts trained on her. And if she tries to run, shoot to kill. You, you seem on edge, officer. What on earth is the matter? Murder most, murder most foul. And I strongly suspect you know all about it. <laughs> Do you? Do you? Well, perhaps you're absolutely right. <laughs> Why am I allowed to do this? <laughs> Standing at the center of the room, you spot a sorcerer haughtily eyeing a pair of nervous looking magisters. They keep their crossbow trained upon her as she's being interrogated by an officer. So you admit it then? You murdered that poor fella? Yes, I did. But of course, that was only the beginning. That is that is true to the experience of a tabletop RPG, I will say. She turns her head and looks you straight in the eye. There are others whose lives must end. Uh oh. Good God, the woman's mad. You there, sorcerer. Go and fetch Magister Siwan. We need to do more than collar this maniac. We need to shackle her hands and feet. What does she mean? It means your journey draws to a close. Do stick around for its finale, though, because... She reaches for her collar and simply removes it. Oh. I'm just about to create a scene. Subdue her, man, quickly! If she casts source, the Void Woken will come. They'll end us all. She smiles with wicked satisfaction. Precisely. Wicked. Fight. <gasps> Turn based. Shit. <laughs> what? What's happened? Let me just, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Money! Yeah, I fucked it up. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Deck of cards? I need- I need all the cards. Give, give me the cards. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like everyone's passed the fuck out. As we say. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. You know, it's just, just getting, getting money. Uh, I guess we go up now?
That's true, I should get a weapon. That's true, I should get a weapon. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I do that? Guess we'll. Go with this? I don't know. <clears throat> Doggy. Wait, that's a source hound. It, it's wet. Locked. Oh. Onwards and upwards. Locked, 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 wet. Oh, I'm attacking. Oh, divine grace, who was that howling? He eyes the collar circling your neck and reaches a hand towards his blade. Oh. Uh. Another sorcerer! <laughs> Finger the collar. You could help him if you get the stupid device off of Even you. Even if I knew how to rip that thing off, I wouldn't. Some crazy banshee comes screaming through, and now we got void bugs swarming up top. Saw it coming, I did. Sorcerer mutiny. That's right, there's a mutiny, and if you want to see your family again, you'll stand down. <laughs> Actually, are you sure she's a sorcerer? Curdled my blood when she appeared. Ship shook like a typhoon had struck, and then she was gone again. Look around. You see how that story ends? Nothing but source can do this. Alright. Per persuasion Go. success? Do what you must. Cool. I'm going to take all this sh stuff here. Ooh. This. I'm gonna take this too. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna look in here. Nothing. Magister Ricks. Just leave me be. <laughs> Where's Magister Morty's? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Hurrah. All right, Dogi, I'm coming through again. Don't you dare do anything. Not long before this thing snaps into splinters. That's true. But first, my first bow. I can't steal them. I can't steal the giant things of whatever. How dare. Um. Oh, that's a big door. You pass through the door and are suddenly face to face with an undead. His skull is bizarrely angular and a glorious jewel sits in the middle of his forehead. The skeleton is quickly leafing through a volume of Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia muttering to himself. No, no, no. What damn fools record knowledge on a pulped tree? It catches fire. It turns into must when wet. It cannot even resist acid. No wonder they're so bloody ignorant. The skeleton looks up and notices you for the first time. Oh, it's you. Shouldn't you be running and screaming or some such? Ask if he shouldn't be doing the same. Ship's going down. The skeleton groans and looks back to his book, <laughs> frantically flipping from page to page. It is. We, we should have made the paper invulnerable to acid, simply. I know your god did not gift you with much, 
but kindly use the little you were given. Do you look at me and think, why, yes, there is someone with organs enough to drown? <sighs> Trifling matters like water and poison do not concern me. No, nope, damp robes are the most I have to fear. Once this glorified skiff hits the sea floor, I will simply walk to shore. That sounds like a pain in the ass, Whereas though. Whereas you, I believe, have lifeboats to pointlessly squabble over. At least I'm doing something. The skeleton holds up his book in one quick, frustrated movement. I am trying to discover if there is anyone worth saving. And I will be damned if I let the lives of some mayflies get in my way. Mayflies? Go on. Go. Swim or drown or do whatever takes your fancy. I have a book to read. Okie doke. Uh, yeah, we're not getting through that door, I don't think. Seems a little bit too hard to, to go through. Took us three attacks to get through the uh, other door. Don't think we're meant to go through that door. Whoa. Oh. Combat in Divinity. Original Sin 2. It's played in rounds. Everything you do in combat costs action points, which you receive each round. Oh. Maybe there was a key on one of the corpses. That's true. I thought I looked through most. Hey, what do you got? I'll take that. Um. I'll just uh end the turn. Getting that poison. This is my hot bar. Hmm. We'll go bull form. Don't know how we're casting. We have our thing on, but you know. That's cool. Ah, because it isn't source magic. I see. Okay. Well, let's just go back down and see. Oh. Giblets. Got some giblets. Can I get to that person? Oh, I can. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get to that person. Marking on the door was painted recently, judging from its pungent scent. You recognize the symbol immediately for what it is. A warning of death fog within. You press your palm against the door to open it. The wood feels neither cold nor warm, but simply grey. The color drains from your hand, and you are left numb. Ooh. That seems bad. Ah, some of the barrels are broken open. Okay. Um, yeah, I will die. I see, I see. I will simply die if I go in there, I believe. Especially at how low life we are. Do we have a... We... Anything in here useful at all? <laughs> or just got a bunch of random bullshit? Got a bucket of water. Minor healing potion. Probably should. 
Who's that? Oh yeah, we got a shirt too. Let's um, <laughs> we got the laboratory stuff. Um. Oh. Yep. Oh, wait. Yep. That's the threadbare. Okay. Uh, this one uses finesse, just like the pitchfork, but it is ranged. That one is magic. Receives bonus from intelligence. Got a couple of notes. This fog has been locked down to storage. Stay yoked. You and Rex both. If anyone starts fooling around down there, it'll be lights out. Yeah. Letter contains a set of instructions for transporting sorcerers to a place called the Joy, but has someone has inked an angry black line from top left to the bottom right. Interesting. This fog barrel's been locked down. This is just that again. Okay. Ooh. We got a pumpkin soup. You just don't walk in the poison. Thank you. Water barrel. <laughs> okay, drop that. <laughs> I should have known that. <laughs> I didn't realize I was trying to pick it up there. Um, where am I going? Where am I attempting to go? Yeah, maybe. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm probably up here, right? Woo! A little bit of fire never hurt anyone. Blinding Radiance Scroll. Okay. Me when the Radiance is blinding. Use. Yay! I did it. I saved the day. <laughs> okay. Fine. I didn't save the day. Um... Wait, what? I heard someone talking. Something about jiggering the ropes. Oh, lifeboat! Wait a minute. Before we go on the lifeboat... There was, a, like, a lot of unconscious people down there. Maybe we can get them up? Okay. Um... Doggy! You gotta come to the lifeboat, doggy! God damn it! Need to get off this wreck and quick! Shut up. Oh, really? Okay. Well, let me let me just check just to make sure before going all the way back. Oh, what? What happened? Huh, must have been the turnips. Throw the water in water. his face. Wine, for goodness sake! Oh. The lizard's eyes close as he slips into unconsciousness. Well, we might as well see this dialogue. The dwarf lies in a heap on the floor, his great beard twisted and tangled around him. He is stock still, 
You can't see if he's living or dead. Listen for the heartbeat. You hear a faint thud, thud, thud. He's alive, but only just. Attack! Kill! No, not the final dark. Not yet. You'll get her out of here again. It's no use. You'll the dice roll darkly. <laughs> They're rolling for me. Ifan lies motionless, curled on the ground like an animal. Under his shaggy hair, you can see green eyes fluttering as if in a nightmare. A low whine escapes his lips. Exactly, calm. <laughs> his eyes flicker open, but he doesn't register your presence at all. Lucian. Lucian. Ifan cries out, then his eyes fall closed again. No matter how much you shake him now, he cannot be roused. <clears throat> the young woman lies in a heap on the floor. Welcome back, She's Sarge. She's breathing normally, but her eyes are wide open, like those of a corpse. A Dark, lot. Grayish black clouds swirl through them. Shake her shoulder. <clears throat> no, no, no. Ooh, hello. Doggy. Doggy meat. Wait, that means I can go down stairs, I believe. No, I cannot. Well, in that case, let's just go. Let's just go. Is Siwan still here? No clue. Ain't got a clue. Oh, maybe I just couldn't. Maybe it was just one of those ones where it was like, can't reach. And that's why. I don't know. Hello? Are we going? Okay. Still getting a little used to how this game plays. Ship seems fine? Hmm. Does it? Does it seem fine, Sarge? Does the ship seem fine? How fine does the ship seem to you? Does it seem very fine? Okay, now I can go and save them. Hi, Sabrina. How are you? Hope you're doing well. We're playing a game. A video game. I love playing at twitch.tv. Oh, hell yeah. If you can walk, get yourself off the ladder. There's a book. Wait. Void Walken. What? Enter. Hmm. Let the games begin. Wow.
Yeah, there's some stuff going on here in this combat system. I was I was kind of worried it would be like um Dragon Age. Uh but it's not it's not like Dragon Age. I don't like Dragon Age's combat system. They who are about to try And all yesterday doing the hardest boss in Final Fantasy, buying a house. <laughs> I'm doing all right. <laughs> Glad you're doing right. Well, uh, I don't, I don't like, I don't like toolbars uh, in a non-turn-based setting. But since this is turn-based, I'm, I'm feeling fine. These beardless bugs would sink the ship on my watch. Oh shit. Save wife. Save wife. <laughs> Look at the way he runs. Yeah. That's that's also true. I I wouldn't know. I only played I played the I got it for free from Epic Game Store. Or not Epic Game Store, sorry, the um Origin. That's the EA one. I got it for free. Or Dragon Age Origins, I believe. And uh, I tried it out and I did not enjoy it. Does Origin even exist anymore? Yes. Yes, but. I hear something. Oh. Big doodle waddle. Apparently, I should have, yeah. I have plans for you, child. Rise. No, I refuse to rise. I am not bread. Honorable Dallas, we lost a ship sailing sorcerer prisoners to Fort Joy. We assume some escaped and broke their collars. Their vile magic lured the Voidwoken. All who were aboard are presumed dead. Yours faithfully into eternity. High Judge Orivan. That's silly, Sarge. That's very silly. That's extremely silly. Why did you tell me this? <laughs> if everyone, if everyone, if everyone named their worlds like that, a lot of names, a lot of worlds would start with the. <laughs> Those Voidwoken made short bloody work of the ship. Am I the lone survivor? Yeah, definitely. It seems someone, something, wanted me alive. Waypoint. Whoa, that's a big shell. Holy fuck. What lives in that? <laughs> the wows. <laughs> Game saved. Void woken. Those are the same beasts that sank our ship. Damn, they've made it to shore. Fight. Bye. 
play him. You, I know you. Don't talk to me. Do not speak my holy tongue. I'm going to die. soup no die <laughs> i don't i don't think we have any potions left <laughs> bugs op please nerf um oh How about we, like, use our magic this time? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> we have to move here first. Then we can do it. Do not hit me. Do not hit me, please. Cease. Um. Become a chicken. Oh, shit. I did not mean to move. <laughs> God. No longer, no longer chicken. Hmm. Yay. I thought these bloody collars were supposed to keep those things at bay. We did it. We did it, gang. We beat him. Round and eaten by a void woken. I wonder in which order. Yeah, now we have potions. Let's drink a let's drink a po potion or po or something. Effects unknown for apple. Effects unknown for apple. Hmm. Um, I guess we'll drink the, got a lot of health to restore there. Nothing. Nothing. Oh no, not more animals. Should have taken the talk to animals. There's a lot of different paths here. A 
black cat. Some would see this as... The cat's eyes are clouded and grey, but it stares at you with acute intensity. Its eyes clear, and it shakes its head, confused. Oh, I'm making sure, Sarge. Trace. This is a squirrel riding a skeleton cat. Wait, where'd the girl go? There was a girl here. She has disappeared. Wait, there she is. It's a lot nicer here than that stinking boat, huh? I'm sure glad some of the others made it out alive too. Saw one of them ringing out their tunic at the shore a few hours ago. Say hi for me. Okay. Magister, now speak. I am a proud loyal to the Order. I would not dream of subverting our cause. Atusa, please. Your Godwoken has asked you a question. Answer him. Need I repeat myself? But I know nothing of any Verdas. Hmm. We already know the truth, Magister. Now speak. I am a proud loyal to the Order. I would not dream of subverting our cause. Atusa, please. Your Godwoken has asked you a question. Answer him. They're just repeating, okay. Need I repeat myself? We're just gonna take our leave here. Let's go this way. As a way we didn't go. Yeah, he does need to repeat himself, apparently. He's just all over there repeating himself. Maybe we should go through... Oh, my God. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. It's a pretty big map. God damn. So we've combed, like, the whole shore. That we can access, that is. Um, since we know that the Bishop Alexander is over there, I suppose we should start exploring things. What the hell? Okay, well, way over here. Let's go way over here. It's gonna take us a little bit to get here, I think. <laughs> Waiting for our character to catch up with us. There we go. I thought the order would get rid of any trace of the old Source King. There he is. Oh, there's another kid. The child has a small mirror in his hands. He holds it up at angles, inspecting his eyes, his chin, the crown of his head. He spots you, and his arms snap to his sides. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Oh, God. Little racist kid. Don't worry. Why? Wouldn't harm him. But, are you a sorcerer? One of those guys that brings the bad void things here. Do, you, do I look like one? The child looks at you straight on, unafraid, searching your face. He lifts his mirror to his nose, closes one eye, and looks at himself again. I don't see any source on you or me. I guess they're wrong or crazy. <laughs> they may be well wrong and crazy. <laughs> Maybe you're right. At least the 
they don't mind where anyone goes. They know we can't leave the island, and it's a lot nicer out here than inside. Your parents know where you are? They're gone now. The Magisters took them already. I guess now they're cured. And maybe they're waiting for me back at home. Say it isn't safe out here. Void one was not far from the shore. But you didn't die. Why you, you seem scared? I guess I am. But it's just normal to be scared. Nowhere isn't scary. That's fair. If there isn't anywhere safer, that's what I mean. You'll see. Man, you got like a stuffy nose, huh? <laughs> you gotta take some allergy meds, my dude. <laughs> Fight child. Actually, wait. We, it, it was trying to get us to do the barter system there. We should, um... Where the fuck did he go? Come back here. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. He's still there. <laughs> exactly. You can stay out here with me if you want. You don't seem that scary. Barter. Lockpicks. I want your teddy bear. Uh, no, but the lockpick does seem useful. Would you like? T Would you like a, a laboratory equipment? Would you like a deck of cards? Would you? <laughs> Would you like these pl these plates? Um, give him all the junk. Yeah, I suppose so. There we go. Um, we'll keep the gold cup for later. Um, we're gonna have, ooh. I mean, I'd actually need that. We don't need that though, for sure. Box. Cheese bread. Blessed are the cheese makers. Fifty pound box in the inventory. Yeah. Why not? Um, how much is the bear? <laughs> he doesn't value the bear very much, huh? <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Sure. Interesting. Okay. Okay. We've done we've done the bartering. We've got the thieves tools. We got the bear. We have the bear. <laughs> no, I I do appreciate it on this game. I I do ordinarily have a no backseating rule, but I really don't know what the fuck I'm doing in this game. So I 100% appreciate it. Where am I? There I am. I spotted something. Did I? Something hidden has been revealed. <gasps> what did I find? Oh, this. I need to dig here. Shuffle. Here lies a nameless inmate. May he find the peace denied him in life in the Hall of Echoes. Now we don't have a shovel. And we are not a lizard. So, um... I suppose we will... 
just have to leave that there. No grave robbing for us. I spotted something. World secrets. Secret passages. Whisperwood. I'll take that. Secret passages. Oh, this. Sure. I wonder where this leads. Oh wait, no, no, don't, no, don't pick up the fucking ooze barrel. Thank you. <sighs> where is the barrel? It's in my inventory somewhere. Where'd it go? There it is. Drink ooze. Secret of the ooze. As the hey, Fane. opens up, you see the same skeleton that you met on the boat before it sank. He's leaning over a corpse, prodding and pulling at the skin of its face. Bugger. How on earth am I supposed to... Oh. Perhaps... Skeletal fingers reach down and grip the skin of the dead man's face, pulling sharply upwards. After a few more tugs at the man's cheeks, the skeleton relents, letting the head drop to the ground with a damp thud. Damnation. Yeah, that stuck fast. I wonder... Does the beard act as some form of anchor? What are you doing? Ah! No! Stay back! Don't... Oh. It's you. I must admit I'm surprised. Perhaps you're more buoyant than I suspected. Why'd you head for the prison island? It seems the human that stole my mask was rather more resourceful than I gave her credit for. He's fucking trying to rip off skin. Skin, yeah. On a scale of one to lizard, how British is Fane? He's getting close to the to the lizard si side of the scale. I chased her here, but she rather seems to have given me the slip. Thus, he turns back to the body, prodding at its face cautiously. What's the business with the Why, body? Why, its face, of course. What other use would I have for some rotting corpse? Skeleton does not need to be buoyant. He can simply walk to shore. A face that seems rather stubbornly attached to his skull. I would normally employ a tool to delicately but viciously rip the face from the body. I could then craft a mask to hide my bone. But as I lack such a tool... The skeleton grabs the corpse by the cheeks and pulls hard, grunting in frustration as the body's skin holds firm. Why do you need to make a mask? Because my own was stolen from me! And the idea of being chased across Rivalon by every idiot with a torch does not appeal. Oh, get away, monster! <laughs> Hide the children! Oh, you are simple beasts. And you simply do not like my... Well, not my kind, but those that look like me. His, skin, no, his mask was stolen, so, which was made of skin. So, if I am to traverse this land... I will need a mask to disguise my features. Tell him he's washed up on the shores of Fort Joy. This is a prison. He's not traversing anything. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I have important things to do on Reaper's Coast. I cannot simply sit about waiting for the rest of you to die so I may continue my business in peace. No. I may be an eternal, but my patience has its limits. Indeed. I may be the only eternal. My people seem rather... Absent. Yeah, the rest of them left after the movie bombed. At least from this realm. As for the others, well, there is an excavation site at the Black Pit's oil fields. Perhaps there I'll find my answers. An eternal? What is that? Some sort of cult? A cult? Hardly. We were a race that existed before the idea of race was needed. We were all one. I could ask you to imagine an Eternal as a creature of incredible intelligence and skill. But I fear the limits of your imagination would not do us justice. We studied the mysteries of the universe. We created works of great art. We... We disappeared. But I will find them. Wherever they are, I will find them. We will have our world again. 
pre-racial society. It's I th- I, the way he means it though is that <laughs> it just wasn't any other people. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Why is he still here? His people have vanished. Well, that hardly seems relevant. But if you must know, I was inconvenienced for a time. Oh yeah. Several centuries, in fact, or perhaps millennia. One tends to lose track. I was sealed in a tomb for daring to be curious about the world. It seems our king did not agree that the universe should be explored to its full potential. Were you building spaceships? Perhaps I should thank him. It seems I was spared whatever happened to the others. I wonder if flowers would be appropriate. Where do you think his people are? Some other realm? Ah, well, that is the curious thing. They are clearly absent from this world, and yet they are everywhere. Every one of your races resembles them in some manner. And the statues you have built to your gods look remarkably familiar. Perhaps my people have ascended to some new realm. Or perhaps your gods are merely a folk memory. Regardless, they are not here. But I will find them. Wherever they are, I will find them. Alright, I want him I want him with us. Ask if he'd like to travel with you. I suppose. Circumstances being what they are, it could be advantageous. You seem more at ease in this world than I. A guide would certainly be useful. <laughs> Hug him. <laughs> It'll work out best for the well for Excellent. both of you. Let's go. While we are conversing, perhaps you notice that I am rather skilled in well, all things. I did not notice that. Of course, the arcane arts are my little speciality. But being a brilliant wizard does not mean I cannot handle blade or bow. So, which do you require for this enterprise of yours? Hmm. That's interesting that you actually get to, like, ask him... to like do and do the things. I think we'll probably just go with the defaults. Probably just go with the defaults for just since this is our first time going through. You can't tell what my class does. I shape shift my skin and the skin of others. I transformed that one thing into a chicken and I transform my arm into a tentacle and I grow bull horns. That's what I do. I could do that with one hand behind my spine. Now, shall we get on? There is rather a lot to see. That settles Splendid. it. Very well. Let's be off. All right, I don't know how many party members I get. I assume four. That's like the standard. Mutton. Get out of the poison, dude. Wait, what? It looks like we can go through to there. But I don't know how. Yeah, she doesn't know how either. Well, from what it sounds like, it sounds like, uh, his people, like, live for so long that they age so thoroughly that their skin just goes away. Eventually. It sounds like they had skin. Or he had skin at one point. Yeah, I'm not getting involved in that shit right now. I need to... establish a party somehow binds there's something here I can attack
What? Ah. I see. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I have no idea if he was sexy when he had skin. Probably. Or probably not. I don't know. Okay, so there's... Yeah, the music in this game is nice. I definitely... I definitely think it's pretty good. Okay, so there's some way... I need to get up here somehow, I think? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, uh... <laughs> Knocked down. Um... Okay. So we can't, is what I'm hearing. Hmm... And we can't really get over here. Okay, yeah, because there's a... Oh, wait. We... Can we take those vines? Take a little bit for them to get over here. Do 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 Okay, we can take those vines. We just have to have to go through the poison. I gained a level from taking poison damage. Uh, we'll go ahead and up those up. Abilities. Oh, those are these things. Okay. So. Uh, we'll up Polymorph. Oh, we have another one. Go up in strength. We'll do Persuasion. Cool. Hey, get out of the fire. Oh, okay. Psst, go, get out! You are not welcome here. Go, she pig. Uh, I mean no harm. She eyes you suspiciously. Please. Please just go. Oh, we can we can get a little closer. Hey, we we customized uh, all of the face. <laughs> oh wait, this. So there was a way to get over here this entire time, is what I'm what I'm hearing. Alright, night night Vivian. Oh. Mama. This per this person is in is invisible. Yeah. You hear a small whimpering sound from behind a basket. You peer behind it and find a small human child holding her knees and trembling. Ask the child what's wrong. The child quiets and seems comforted by your presence. She looks up at you with curious eyes. Ask her why she's crying. There are monsters here. Lizard ones and real ones. It's really scary. And I miss my ma and pa. Why is she scared of lizards? Master was a lizard. Uh. She sent us here. Me, ma and pa. She was not a nice lady. Lizards aren't nice ladies. It's their fault I'll never see ma and pa again. 
Everything's gonna be alright. How do you know? <laughs> I know everything. The child smiles. She starts tracing small shapes, hearts and stars and diamonds into the dirt. Alright. Um Wait, I'm going into the poison. Well. Okay, uh, I think we've seen everything now, so it's time to get involved in whatever the nonsense over here was. Where was it? I am... Here, it, it, it was over here, I believe. Yep, yep, they're starting to pop in now. Need I repeat myself? Stay back, sorcerer, and stay silent. Our Godwoken speaks. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. This can't be serious, Alexander. Come. You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister. Whatever she may ask. Jester. Stay silent, you! Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. The fate of our Lizards realm are very hangs tall. in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the void destroy it. Yeah, you could. Dallas. Yes, your holiness. I believe we're done here. Whoa. What a waste. Come, we'll be needed elsewhere. Where is he? What is up with you, Sir Laura? Whatever. You got anything good? A leg. Um The Lizard Magister. Or what's left of her lies in a puddle of gore. Cruelty of it makes me sick. These creatures are so prone to violence, naturally, the weaker specimens suffer. <laughs> yeah, that's how elves work. Jeez, everyone here has a name. Did you see him? You did, right? Those claws. Wonder what's behind the masks, too. Can't be pretty. You mean the horrific creature creatures? That, Magister. That was Bishop Alexander, leader of the Divine Order, and his right hand, Dallas. How do you not know this? Just still getting the lay of the land. get to it, then. A Magister will come and find you when they're ready for you. Could be a while, though. We're up to our hoods in Sinners these days. I haven't seen one yet that doesn't have a name. I don't think, anyways. Okay. Saw him, didn't you? The Hammer and Alexander. <coughs> they gave that scaly traitor what for they did. Uh, it's the gruesome spectacle. It's a misfortune, sister. <coughs> You lot can't help your condition, but at least the humans are yet ain't celebrating the source plague. When will I be allowed? When will I be allowed to leave? When you give up the darkness that's inside you, take your fault. It's there, mine, but it's there all the same. 
They're working on a cure for you even now. Got some good leads, so I hear. <laughs> Jesus. You can trust Dallas to take care of it. And once you're cured, your life will start again. What do you know about the bishop in Dallas? Bishop's a son of the dead divine. Don't know when we'll get a new one, but Alexander's looking after us in the meantime. I don't think same. we'll need the quick save, Sarge, because there's an auto save. And so. the hammer's a solid sort. Don't take no guff and don't stand for no idling. Earn that name for a reason, she did. <coughs> and you become your guard During here. the time of Lucian, of course. Who wouldn't join up with God himself? He was all glory, all goodness. When we lost him, well, it only made sense to see his will through. How can he know the will of the divine? Not for certain, but I reckon when God himself gives his life to protect you, you don't <coughs> waste the gift. You protect it with everything you've got. Jesus, how so much are you smoking? We do. Wonder aloud if the divine would really approve of a place like Fort Joy. Lucian gave his life to protect Rivalon. If we let the Void Woken get to it now, well, we'd have lost him for nothing. Fort Joy ain't no summer camp. <coughs> said it were but it's the best we've got to protect the realm yeah that's fair sarge uh we used we used an auto save to restart that battle so i feel like that was pretty generous bishop alexander and the hammer herself they they were so close almost within arm's reach must have missed out on the fun they were just there just there but a moment ago oh hey It's Ifan and uh, other people. She's gone, Farah. God. He hasn't changed a bit. Always late. Jesus, how many? You, you there. You, you just arrived, isn't that right? Are you? Are you quite alone? I have a companion. Well, I was going. What? Why do you want to know? It's just, I've a proposition, something, something very worth knowing. But it's hardly a group affair. I only need one. Not interested in any matters your friends can't hear. Oh, noble! But after the magisters take you all, your nobility will have been for nothing. Good luck with your friends, though. Enjoy your last days in good company, won't you? She's gone. Is that indigestion or is it... Oh God, not now. Her. Hey, I know you. No, sir. The dark-eyed jokester you met aboard the ship waves enthusiastically and dips into a mock elegant curtsy. Back then, I was <coughs> Madame Josephine Gribbles de Pube, and you were you. <laughs> Glad to see you made it. That's true. I did make it. Nothing like a nice tentacle slap across the moor to set the tone for the week, eh? How'd you escape? Uh, trying to make a run for the boat, didn't make it. I saw you fall. We all did. Thought you were done for. When we get out of this place, I owe you a pint. So you managed to swim to safety, is that it? What about when you were in the water? Didn't hear anything unusual, did you? There was a strange voice that seemed to want me to survive. I heard the same thing. Do you know what this means? It means I'm not the only. Losa's voice catches in her throat. The joy drains from her face. Her eyes lose focus, and her whole body goes rigid. Oh boy. She is stock still, waxy skinned, her eyes dark. Grayish black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks. Call out now, she's alright. Her head snaps to you mechanically, and her eyes lock with yours. Dark pupils dilated into great black voids. Draw your last pathetic card so I can end this, Yugi. Call it mild, thank you for the follow. And her whole body relaxes. Thank you. Anyway, what were we talking about? Ask why she's acting so strangely. Oh, it's nothing really. It's just, I'm just a bit, well, a bit hospitable. 
<laughs> Waggle a rakish eyebrow and ask if she's implying you should make yourself at home. Ha! What I mean is, look, you've never been a, a host, right? That's because you're like a clump of leaves on the side of you're the road. You're pretty neat, Sarge. That ain't bad, though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. But I'm a... a roadside inn. Red door, flowers out front, friendly lady at the door beckoning you in for half price. Like a god's damn gold star inn for the disembodied. Ask her who or what she was hosting a few moments ago. Now isn't that just the question of the hour? I can't be sure just yet. I'll be surprised if it's a demon. Definitely not a sprite either. Maybe a spectre, but I wouldn't bet money on it. So, how are you enjoying the joy? It'd be more enjoyable if you had someone to get the lay of the land with. Yeah? I was just thinking the same sort of thing. So, you want to check this place out together? Strength and numbers and all that. Sounds like a good idea. It does, right? Before we head out, I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve. So you'll have to pick which one I'll pull out if, <laughs> when, push comes to shove. Lately I've been into the enchanting arts, but I can shoot, slash, summon, steal, whatever your little black heart desires. So, what'll it be? No shoes, Sarge. You gotta have the feats out. Alexander says, uh, Sounds yeah, we'll fine. just do defaults. So, we're good to go? Yeah? Well, that was easier than I thought. And I'll do my best to stay myself. Lead the way. Feats out, geats out. That's true. I'm always saying it. I will not. This is not your business, long pig. Don't let this moss muncher talk to you like that. Especially a cheapskate like this. And Griff already knows she don't like to pay her fair share. An intense-looking man steps between the thug and the elf and rolls up his sleeves, revealing well-muscled and heavily scarred arms. You recognize him. It's Ifan, who you met aboard the ship on the way here. Yeah, so I assume they're calling you Long Pig because, you know, they eat the flesh of people, so you, they know you taste Just like stand pig. Aside, won't you, mate? This is no business of yours. Lone wolves decide their own business. The thug freezes in fear for a moment before shuffling back to the protection of his crony. Pay up, El. No one shorts Griff, especially not one of you. Stand beside Ethan. Burrow looks you both up and down, sizing up your combined threat. Yeah, so apparently the elves uh, eat flesh in order to get the memories from them. Ah, get them. out of here, the both of you. You ain't worth the sweat of my brow anyhow. The elf smiles and bows to you in thanks. Follow me before more of them trouble us. There is a safe place. Okay. This guy's just going. Oh, he's going, all right. Where's the oil? That person is warm. <laughs> well, uh... The one the the elf lady licked my arm, and then and then got my memories. So I think I think they actually get the memories. Oh, was I supposed to talk to Eve before leaving? Who in their right mind would think of a thing like this? This is Ifan. Ifan rolls his sleeves back down. He nods at you. The shadow of a smile on his lips. Good work there. Good work. I can tell you've got chops. Say, you were on the ship here with me, weren't you? You forgot? He stretches out one rough hand to shake yours. Shake he the hand? your hand tight as a vice and shakes it. Hard. Say, you don't look all that busy now that we're safely on dry land. I could use someone to watch my back. And it looks like you could use someone to watch yours. I've got, I've just got two other people to watch my errand to run. And then I'll be looking to get the hell out of here while I've still got a neck to collar. How about we stick together until we get out of this place? Thugs were afraid when you mentioned the lone wolves. What are he they? Shrugs, looking off to the side. Mercenaries. 
It's a job. My job. What's the errand? Everyone needs to make a living. I make mine running errands. Yo, do we have to do to survive? That's the truth. For me, for you, for everyone in this place. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the squirrel. Why not help each other get out of here? How do you think that'll happen? The usual way. Haphazard, terrifying, and drenched in blood. Haven't quite worked out the details yet, but I'll wager it'll be no worse than what'll happen if we stay put. Two heads are better than one, and when push comes to shove, four fists are better than two, right? Uh... Veiled undead. Um... I kind of want the elf lady. I have no idea. This is the definitive edition, so it has everything that is available, I suppose. He's, he's just here. He's level five. Uh, no harm having a friend in this place. One hand washes the other and all that. Trust me, there'll be plenty of filth to wash off around here. But suit yourself. We'll make our like own I way. said, suit yourself. If you change your mind, you know where I am. Ah, okay. So he's just here for now, is what I'm hearing. I, I, oh, to talk to him. Yeah, yeah, no, that, duh, that's the one where you can talk to animals. Doggy. This is huge. Just keeps going. A little reprieve from the din outside. Huh. Uh, no, we cannot pet the dog. I spotted something. This hole is too small for you to squeeze into. I need a shovel. I need a shovel. I need a shovel. I got you. I you can't him, get me. But I do not see him. As you approach the young elf, Losa suddenly grabs your arm. Her hand is damp. Her face looks pale and grey. Hey, listen, I, I don't know why, but but I think I need to talk to this elf. I really am missing out on a lot of piles of dirt. You mind? What's going on? I don't... I can't. I, I just need to talk to her, okay? Go ahead. She turns towards Sahela. She darts over to the elf without responding. They begin talking in earnest, more quietly than you can overhear. Losa suddenly snatches up both the elf's hands and leans close to her. Her voice rises. You have to tell me. The whites of Losa's eyes fade to grey, then black. The colour runs into her veins, crisscrossing her skin like lightning. She keeps hold of Sahela's hands. What is going on? It rises in you even now, Losa. Do not let it. You must be strong. Be strong. Fight. Fight. You are okay. You are yours. No one else's. 
Watch and listen. Shut up. Let go. Let go. Let go. I don't want to hurt her. Don't make me. Losa is rigid as a board, tense with the effort of holding Sahela's hands in tight, painful bunches. Leave me alone! Leave me! I don't want to! You are hurting me! Losa's eyes are black. Sahela's fingers are white under her grasp. Let me go! Please! A sinister smile spreads I mean, across Losa's lips. I mean, can I stop her now? She chatty, oh, shit. chatty elf. Chatty elf with all the answers. I wonder what your blood tastes like. She sounds like the narrator now. Losa, please. You, you must not defend her. She wakes if she is weakened. We must hurt her to protect her, you see? Rush forward to help the elf. Losa isn't in, right, in her right mind. I bet the elf blood tastes like honey. Like nectar, like joy itself. Let's find out. Not herself. You must weaken her to help her. Okay. Uh, interesting. I'm sorry, Losa. Oh no, we're all wet. Interesting. Okay. It is almost enough. A few more hits. She comes back to us when she is weaker. You okay? Y yeah, thanks. Okay. Ugh. Oof. You're too slow. Top. What? Don't look at me like that. So you're not looking at her like anything. If she doesn't want to talk about what happened, that's fine by you. Uh, not exactly, but uh, not irregular, I don't think. Good. I don't. Let's keep moving. I want to get out of this bloody place as soon as possible. Ask yeah, she's with a good key. I'm fine. You're fine. We're fine. I just want to get out of here. Let's go. Um, what's up? What's up with this? You got a you got a thing on you. Oh, okay, you leveled up. I see now. You can't get me. Oh, that's a different elf lady, Sarge. I guess. I don't I don't know what I'm doing. I think. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. Whoever kills the other is the boss. Thank you for your help with that thug. Rare is the human who goes against their own for an elf. Happy to help. She bows. I can know who's in charge right In this here. cave, we trust Sahela. She is young, but she sees. She knows more than we know. In the camp, the brute Griff rules. He who gives the bread has the power. 
How you come to Fort? It gives me great pain. I'm with my family. We are making beautiful magic. We are healing a tree cut down with great violence. The magisters come. My family runs, but I fall. My son looks back. I shout to him to run. I am taken. <laughs> Do you know a way out? I hear of no escapes. The only way out is through. Through the magisters, through their cure. Thugs, I can stand, but oh, I fear the magisters. Wait, before you go, uh -huh. I am not here without your help. I do not forget this. For you, a prize. I save it for a special occasion, but I can think of no finer occasion than this. Thank you. Wait, I call a timeout. Um, wizard pants? Wizard pants! Uh, I will take the skull cap. Oh, that was that was for oh oh you can talk with different people interesting Ooh. the young girl's eyes are covered but she turns towards you when you approach she smiles as though she recognizes you though she couldn't have seen your face ah hello i see you come a long way i see you come here seeking a great adventure do you find it how do you know about that i see it before my eyes. I've heard far seeing as much a burden as a gift. <laughs> it is not so bad. I know which days have bread and which days have none. I know more bread comes someday. It helps. Um, change the subject. Looking for a way out. Eyebrows shoot up. There can be a way, Amiro knows. But he is gone. Do you see him? He knows how to leave. Ask about my Amiro? protector, my friend. An elf like me, with a spirit bright as new leaves. He tries to help me, to save me, and he suffers very much. Okay. He is caught by those who hurt him. I wish so much for his return. And he tells you what you seek. A way out. I'll help your friend. You bring me great peace. Thank you, my friend. I miss him very much. I see something that helps. I see a lizard. He is a lizard of many dreams, of far feeling. You do not free Amiro without him. Yes, please ask. Um. Why are you in the it cave? It is safer here. We make no trouble for Griff. He makes no trouble for us. Why are you covering oh, your eyes? I do not cover my eyes. I cover the place they used to be. They are gone now. Taken. But you I should get Liam Neeson to find them for you. <laughs> Who took them and why? He is a very blind man. He sees things but not truth. Not love or joy. I feel very sorry for him. You understand when you meet him, after you escape. You speak strangely and carry a big far. stick. Your language gives me some trouble. We elves, time for us is now. There is not then and when. How did you come to Fort Joy? I knew we must be here. I am not sure how much to explain. You are here and so we are here. All right. Me when I'm also here. Sure, sure. Got you. I mean, it, it makes sense that they're disconnected from time. No one tells me there are so many children in this Fort Joy. Your kind I handle, but small ones. Like, it, it makes sense that they're disconnected from time when, like, they can lick people and experience the, the past. Shudder and agree. You know what they do? They play a game called Scream. In this game, they see who screams the loudest. 
I feel the divine's loss so sharply during scream. <laughs> Children are necessary for a stable population. Yeah. <laughs> you are in the wrong place, Pinky. I'm no divine order loyal, and you need not fear me. Fear? <laughs> Pity, perhaps. A blind wolf may lead the pack, but sooner or later they will all starve. What do you mean by that? Never mind. If you need to suit up, I can offer you a fair price. If not, I would thank you to move on. More racist lizards! Let's go! Me when the racist lizards are here. Is that the way out? Yes. Yo, Doc, what's up? By the Queen's beard, it looks like you lost a fight with a claw hammer. Reckon you're in need of something to heal yourself up, eh? Your perception indicates an excellent education. Where did you study? School of Hard Knocks, University of Life. Academy of this and that. I have the talent for it. And whenever I found someone with skill, I asked them to teach me. Uh -huh. Instead of a potion, she hands you an empty bottle and a fat brown mushroom. Ask her to teach. I knew I saw some talent in you. Go ahead and combine the mushroom with the vial. Once you've mastered the technique, you'll never need help from a crusty old quack like me again. Uh. Yeah, that's it it's it's nice. Isn't it more business savvy to keep the knowledge to yourself? Business savvy? Don't be profane. This is people's health we are talking about. And I get by just fine in the meantime, thank you kindly. Alright. Wait, what? that didn't mean that you said that I hate. I hate that. Do you mean the the magic bull that's in my nothing? What were you thinking, messing with Griff's brutes anyhow? Um. And and what was it again? The brown mushroom. And. Uh, what did, what did she say? Our healer's walk is never done. Well, that's everyone's dead, of course. Oh. What were you thinking, messing with Griff's brutes, anyhow? In a potion bottle? Aha! Uh -huh. oh. Our healer's war. Hey, look at that. Just what I ordered. Ain't you a peach, love? An old deed here to thank you too. I tried not to steal. Poor fella over there crossed one of Griff's card sharks and got a club to the skull. Doomed to be sure, but I'd like to ease his way out. All right. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay, now what? Cavern entrance. Oh, we can go this way. Oh. That thing eating. The creature heaves through lips gummed with human gore. It turns to you with great effort, pain apparent in every movement, and madness screams from its wide, bloodshot eyes. You, 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 you. 
quite lost. Quite lost, quite lost. Careful, or they'll cross your wires. <laughs> he. Now, a little query. Where grows the yarrow? Mm. Mm. Quickly now, for I haven't much time. I can't help you. Maybe I unscrew your lid and poke about inside and set your memory straight. Would that please you? Can you not remember now? Suggest that preferring drier climates, Yarrow is likely to grow in the sunny cliffs above this beach. <laughs> Are you mad? Yarrow loves the beach. Yarrow loves the sand, the waves, the wind in her hair. You're better off without a top. You're better off uncrossed. Uh. Oh. That's not good. Okay, so... Rain... Hail strike... Electric discharge? Um, we'll encourage. Out of the poison. Use a potion. Potion. Uh, I guess I'll have to use the bull horns. Enter. Encourage is good. Okay, good to know. We did use Encourage earlier. Um, maybe I should have used Encourage there too. Now that I think about it. I'm ready. Oh, that hits us too. Fuck. I wasn't sure if there would be a... Uh, what you call it. Party I'm hits. Fading. Um... Move out of there. Oh! Shit. I forgot about the text of opportunity. Um... Well... We haven't actually touched them, have we? How did I forget about attacks of opportunity? Not everyone gets one, from what I understand. Damn it. 
We are going to die. Hey, Mr. Squirrel, could you help us? What happens if we flee combat? I need aid. Oh wait, what? It fucking put up the goddamn thing before I could hit the butt. God damn it. I was trying to click that. No, I didn't break it. It just popped up before I could... Just popped up. Yeah, I know. I know. I know what happened. I just... Okay, we're not going that way this time. I don't think we're supposed to go that way. Not yet, anyways. Lesson learned. Never talk to that guy. Yeah. At the very least, let's get a full party before we do. Buro. Buro. If I had some yarrow. Mmm. That's true. That's your fifth blue jester this round. What of it? Yeah, what of it? Ah, grab it in your gobblers, the both of you. If you don't like the game, Topsy, you can fall. She's just saying things. I don't know. right hand, Topsy girl. Bottle top. That person's name is Bottle Top. When another divine arises, will Source change back? What if there are no sorcerers left? And why hasn't Ali the lizard's brow knits together, then apart, and back again? He seems to be swimming deep in his thoughts and doesn't look up as you approach. Was what elf not interested? That that wasn't the elf from the ship. Do I like elf? Yeah, I like elf. Who doesn't like Elf? Um. Just tap on the shoulder. What? Oh, new, are you? Very good, very good. Make yourself at home. What's on your mind? My mind? What else, my friend? I'm wondering why all of this. Source, the Void Woken, the Divine. Why? I don't think she was. I don't. On a scale of 1 to 17, how do you rate Elf? Um, I don't know. It's like a 10 out of 17. Naturally. How could one not? We've used Source for thousands of years. We have used it to heal, to grow. 
How can it be that it suddenly summons these, these horrors from the void? And when will Alexander ascend to divinity? We cannot continue like this. Never thought of the demographics for Alf. The demographics for Alf are everyone. There's not a single person alive who doesn't like Alf. The one not racist lizard. Let's go. Oh, well, it's better than that. I, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a fine show, you know, it's agreeable. It's funny. Easy now, hot chap. It's like Garfield, you know, there's just something about it. The game was saved. I do not trust this. Oh, there's a crab. Septa the Ineffable. Leave it, Sam. I won't say it again. There's so many people. Oh, my God. That's true. Everyone, everyone can agree with this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Easy now, Hot. There's the doctor. Okay. Who's living here? All right. Um. Yeah. What the fuck? Well, actually, I think not having boots is what's good for, uh, keeping us from getting trench foot. A delivery. Surely you have one. Scram, snake face. Scram. Butter. I mean, the person's name is Butter. Uh, I guess we'll go back and maybe the elf lady wasn't here. I thought I talked to everyone in there though, so I don't know. Oh wait, you can go. F oh no, you can't go further. Cause, okay. You're cheating. That her? I don't. I don't know. I don't know who's who. Thank you for your help with that thug. Where is the human? She bows. Okay. I hear this is of no the same stuff as before. This case, I guess the wrong pain. person was talking. Ah, oh, my unlikely friend. What do you need? It gives me great by here of Noah's in this. Okay. Oh, we gotta do that thing again. Okay.
Oh my god. Okay. Um... <laughs> Alright, we're gonna be here a little bit, folks. Just a little bit. It's just, it's just gonna take a little bit. It's only gonna take a little bit. We're gonna get there. Some One of these days, we're gonna get through here. Oh, we're trying. Almost there. One more, one more, one more. Okay. Jesus. That's some nasty poison. Game saved. That's spooky. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's from the poison. Okay. Why are you back there? Melted dwarf. What's melting dwarfs out here? She doesn't want to walk through poison. What kind of person doesn't want to walk through poison? Okay. Well. Destroying a water barrel. Interesting. Um. I guess we've done... see anything else to do currently unless we want to go further down here there was something dangerous over there too I want to get a full party before we start doing the dangerous things though uh, I guess we could go like talk to the people who are over here see what's up see what they're all about To the left? That you wanted. The left Everything of where? Good. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> you mean in the cave? Griff is slowly, methodically peeling the skin from a potato. As you approach, he looks up, setting the potato, but not the sharp little knife down on the table. What? <laughs> Ask if he's in charge around here. <clears throat> Who's asking? The Fidget Cave is coming out. Okay. Just a fellow inmate. Have he some smirks, questions. And holds the little knife up to the light, watching it glint. I'm listening. Does he know what the magisters and their cure? Oh, they'll cure you of your source. Nightshade will cure you of an headache, too. Looking to secure the release of the elf. A Myro. <clears throat> Bloody elves. I guess you mean the clown I call stealing from my kitchen. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. Oh, yeah, I'm talking to him as Lois. So that's, that's weird that you could do that. Uh... What did he have stolen? Supplies. A crate of food, citrus in particular. <clears throat> he'll talk, or he'll die quiet. Oh, we can do that. All yeah. I want is my supplies. <clears throat> Happy to let this clown die in a gutter instead of my kitchen. Bring back my crate, and you got yourself a deal. All right. Okay, so let's go back to where we were and find the elf. The elf lady. Do 
You said... Where? Yeah, yeah, I learned that earlier. I, I just haven't gotten used to that, <laughs> that I have to switch back if I want to talk as myself. So, left of the cave as you're coming out of it. So, this away. That's Stingtail. Uh, I, did I? I don't remember seeing her. Ah! Amid the squalor of Fort Joy, you suddenly spot an elf with diamond features, regal and radiant, but cold too, and sharper than any knife. <laughs> See, it's hard because the whole island she is wrecked. She was Rex. the one who sat rolling dice in the ship that went under, deciding fates with every roll. Or so she said. Her eyes are focused on a lizard some distance away. And you get the distinct feeling he's an unfortunate man indeed to be trapped in her tiger-like gaze. Ask her what a girl has to do to earn that stare. No sooner have these words left your mouth than she turns about and grabs you in a stranglehold. You feel the tip of a long needle being pushed a little ways into your neck. You caught me off guard. No one catches me off guard. Better tell me who you really are, or this time I'll let my needle do the licking. <laughs> uh, it wasn't my intention to startle. But you did, and now the tables have turned. You look quite startled to me. A push, a pivot, and now you suddenly face her. The needle still all too deeply embedded in the side of your throat. Despite the precariousness of your situation, you notice something that remained undetected in the gloom of the ship. A flaw in her diamond features. A curiously shaped scar on her left cheek. <laughs> yeah, that that's true, Sarge. Uh why is she stuck in the lizard? Because it is my desire to question him intensely. As for the reason, you're staring at it. Ah. You see, once upon a bad old time. A lizard cut this thing, this living scar, into my cheek. The mark of a slave. But now I'm free, of sorts. And I've traced that lizard here, to Fort Joy. I intend to raise the subject with him. I am not that lizard. She drives the needle in deeper and whispers. In truth, it does not matter in the least who you really are. You saw me mark my prey. You could warn him, save him, or kill him before I get my chance. That makes you a liability. That makes you needle feed. Yeah, instead of killing me, you could join me. A bright sparkle of laughter follows your proposal. Ha! <laughs> How amusing. I admit I had not seen that twist coming. I was certain the pitiful begging was about to begin. Make your case and do it quickly. Why should I join you? I'm planning my escape, and I need people with talents like yours. Escape? <laughs> How you do tickle me. Most of the misguided deers around here would argue such a thing is impossible. Nothing's impossible. Hmm. A silly thing to say, but then again, I did think catching me off guard was impossible. Oh, little needle mine, what should I do? Push or pull? Hmm, the agony of choice. You gotta feed the needle. You know what? Today is a rather fine day. Sunshine and an easy breeze. Yes, I'll let you live. I'll even agree to travel with you, provided we talk to that lizard I mentioned. I'm not quite sure the weather will save him. With a casual flick of the wrist, she withdraws the needle from your neck and smiles, 
as if she just invited you to sit down for tea. Let's discuss our respective roles then, shall we? You, me, and Death will be playing many a round of hide and seek. So, what role would you like me to play? As a rogue, my speciality is stealth. The quick silence of the dagger striking unseen. That said, I'm perfectly lethal wielding any weapon or magic. So, the choice is yours. Now we're gonna go talk to the lizard, Sarge. I know it'd be very funny if we didn't talk to the lizard, but we're gonna go talk to the lizard. Suits me fine. Lead on. Or better yet, let me take the lead. Then follow me. You're not quite certain you'll ever sleep soundly with Seville in any sort of proximity. But at least she's on your side. For the moment. Yeah, we have a rogue, a mage, and a mage. And me, who is... something. As you're about to approach the lizard, Sibyl cups your chin between thumb and index finger, then guides your eyes to hers. Listen, I need to have a chat with this here morsel of flesh. He has wronged me once, but may just do right by me this time. Yeah, go ahead. To your surprise, Sabeel proceeds to throttle the unsuspecting lizard with one hand as she drives the tip of her needle into his lower belly with the other. Then, the questions commence. You hear him yelp about the master, lone wolves, and a man called Griff. Lone wolves? Then, quite suddenly, there's blood everywhere as Stingtail falls to the ground, face first into his own intestines. Hmm. Sabeel heaves a sigh of satisfaction. And as she wipes her needle clean, shoots you a cursory look. Chat's over. So okay. That seemed just a tad excessive. Hmm? Something on your mind? Why did you just brutally kill Stingtail? It's simple. He scarred me, so I scarred him extensively. She defies you with devilishly innocent eyes. Can you blame me? Yeah, maybe. There it is. I was wondering when your spying would make an appearance. Anyway, what's dead is done, so let's move on, shall we? Despite my high hopes, this scar disfigures me still. What's good? What's next? The search for the master continues, of course. Hungry work, the hunt. And you know what? I'm feeling a bit peckish. Stingtail mentioned a cook, as it happens. A fellow named Griff. Two birds, one stone. How about it? Okay, as long as you don't immediately kill him this time. Oh, wow. Crazy. Yeah, I don't know, Sarge. I don't know what's going on. Was I looking for oranges? Oh, is that what Griff wanted? Hmm. That's interesting. Again, I don't know what to do with them, but uh, yeah. No, 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 no. Griff didn't want Yarrow. You forget my name, here. Got it. Sibyl gently places a hand on the small of your bag. Her mouth reaches your ear with a whisper. Let me have a word with the gentleman, would you? I have a little clue to follow up on. Uh, no, I need to talk to him. I <laughs> saw so what happened last time you were allowed to a word. Come now. No such thing need happen here, provided this man can be reasoned with. Uh... No. But I wasn't going to. He's my chance to... Fine. Deny me. My needle will guide me rightly if you do not. Worse than war rations, please. I got this. Griff glances from his blade to you and back again. Griff tears into one of the oranges with both hands. Juice squirts through his hands as he desperately rips through the, the rind. Looks like everything's accounted for. Now the important question. Who's the thief? 
<laughs> Lizard Stingtail is the culprit, but he's dead now. He raises an eyebrow. Looks like someone did my job for me. <laughs> Your guy's free to go. It should be fine. <laughs> Eventually. Cool. If a magister finds us on you, you forget my name here. I don't think he was eating it. I think he was dissecting it. It is done. And quickly. I thank you. Very, very much. I hold my end of the bargain. I show you the way out. Oh, I never talked to but him. I have something more to ask of you. What do you mean? Sahela. She is... She is everything. A ruler. A seer. A knower. A child. She cannot... <coughs> cannot... Be lost here. What do you have in mind? It is for all our people. For... The world. Give me your map. <coughs> I show you the way out. A secret. Dangerous. But it leads to freedom. I give you this amulet. You must pass it to the elves who still remain. Tell them Sahela is here. They will send help. Please. She is important. I go to her. I wish you good luck, and I thank you for us all. Okie dokie. Ah, oh, you're back. Oh, it's so good to see you, mate. You look... You know who you look like? The moon. <laughs> I bet you hear that all the time, don't you? Sure, have a look. Well, what, he's very friendly now, but what a strange thing to say. Um, okay, I think I'm good. Okay, now you can talk with him. Ah, oh, you're back. Are we? Oh. What? Ah, oh, you're back. He thinks I'm an astronaut. Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves did meet so much. Ah. Oh. You Ah, you Did I? Oh well. That's not what it implied. It's the goods. Like you wanted. Got it. That's annoying. Why would that be the case? Hmm, don't want to go that way. You look like the moon! Sahela, you are all right. I am fine, Amiro. I am fine. I know they help us. Yes, they do. It is as you say. Yeah, Sit, we really my do. Friend. Come. As you say. As you say. Amiro. Amiro. She breaks into a huge childlike grin as you approach. One friend brings another home. Thank you. How is Amiro doing? He gets better, little by little. <laughs> How do you know? We are together. We always get better if we are together. You should join us. Thank you, my friend. But only you survive the passage. I see it. You are free. We must remain. I can 
Yeah. Thank you, dear one. You do not regret it. You see. She squeezes your hand. I do not forget you. Remember me too. Okay. Oh, pants. I like pants. Soon I am quite well again. Then we make another attempt. Have a nice night, Sarge. What comet? We have help. We survive. And soon we leave. <sighs> Fine. Stretch. Oh, God. Fucking hell. Um We're low on health for some reason. Suppose we'll drink a potion to fix Damn it, dude. <laughs> Fucking hell. God damn it. Gonna have to get used to that. Gonna have to make sure I remember that. Uh. Uh, no, I did not. I don't know. Uh. If it was even visible in my area. There's a lot of things I don't know. The girl from Impanima Oh shit A fucking dinosaur. Okay, that's definitely out of our league. And rubs and tweaks the nub. Ropes and pokes like all the blokes. He said he'll touch it all day long. The smell, though. I don't think can we we can't recruit anyone else. Yeah, I would like to have Beast on our side, but. Place has made you cranky. Fuck up, old chap. Please, excuse us. You're talking to me, not her, Sam. Oh, for the love of Lucian, Balladeer. You're acting like a madman. Say it again. What you said about my wife. Go on. Uh, ask if I can help settle the argument? Piss off. Go on, Sam. Well, it's the truth, and you know it. She's better off. So what if it was messy? I'd rather puke myself to death a thousand times than let the Reds get to me. If she were my wife, I'd be happy for her. A flat smile twitches across Balladeer's lips. She never did like you. Oh. Bastard. The man looks for a moment at the corpse at his feet, then turns back towards the nearly finished coffin, Bloodied hammer in hand. Ask if the coffin he's building is for the man he just murdered. Murder's a big word. And no. This here's a bed for someone a thousand times better than that snake. Rest of soul. Who's the coffin? The for? love of my life. Gret. She passed in the night. Something in the stomach. Doctor couldn't help her. He tenderly runs a hand along the coffin's <laughs> side panel. <laughs> Yeah, the lizards just kind of die, huh? Sure, yeah, she'd tell me this plank is crooked. Chastise me for using warp wood on her final bed. Then she'd laugh and kiss me. 
just here. The man holds a hand to his cheek for a moment. He turns from you, lines up another nail, and hammers it into the panel. People just keep leaving these lizard-shaped <laughs> loot chests around. <laughs> Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves didn't eat so much. Ah, oh, you're back. <laughs> okay, uh, at this point... I have to do one of the exceedingly dangerous things. The question is, which one? And the answer is, I don't know. Uh, I guess we can try talking to this guy real quick. Eventually we'll reach over here. your head please if we chant the endless prayer the next divine will ascend sure teach it isn't me the words you speak but rather that you speak them prophecy says that only our devotion will restore him to us all oh, right the Do alt button prayer, constant as the ocean can lure our savior back to us oh, he's so right I. by the divine so I guess I. I don't if know Bishop Alexander I don't know if I hope that or not I don't know who will protect us from this darkness. Some blame the Void Woken for Alexander's failure to ascend. If all we sorcerers can be cured, then the bishop shall be free to rise. So chant the endless prayer. Sharp rock. Whoa. I love Sharp Rock. Yeah, re restoring the divine, making Alexander unto a god. Hey, those fish bones are owned by somebody. Don't steal them. Don't want to steal a fish bone. Oh wow, this is uh, this is awkward to try and do. <laughs> yeah, you know. Nietzsche, Nietzsche has some funny ideas. Cowrie, cockle, clam. Sure. Give me that whisper wood. Yo. Shovel. There's a broom. That's like a shovel. Who in their right mind would think of a thing like this? Log. The first dirt pile we found? Oh, God. Uh, 
It's like all the way. Over here? Where was it? There it was. <laughs> All right, and now we wait. <laughs> <laughs> the girl from Impanima. Oh, there we are. Hmm. Hmm? Uh Um I don't I don't Oh no. Oh, huh? mushrooms. That's healing potions, baby. Not a shovel, but it is a healing potion. Shells. They're probably good for selling, right? Or they're like worth a gold. Singular gold. How did I miss you? You spot a strange lizard gazing over the water with a steady, malcontent stare. His skin is of a bright blood red color. Could he be? Yes, you recognize him from the ship. It would seem you're not the only one who survived the tentacles of the deep. Read him hardly. The lizard turns about with the graceful ease of a dancer or a duelist. You lock eyes with his, two smoldering embers that sizzle your very soul. I did survive, yes. And chances are I wouldn't have, had you not returned to the aid of your fellow passengers down in that dreadful hole. You have my gratitude. Uh -huh. And over heart, he salutes you with a bob of the head. More than a nod, though less than a bow. Mm. Glad to be of help doesn't do to stand idly by when people are in danger. Yes, I'm sure you've all the makings of a hero and all that, but let's not get carried away, shall we? Now then, if there's nothing further... What are you doing standing on that rock? I'm sure I don't mean to sound condescending, but I had thought it quite self-evident I was gazing out over the waves. He sighs dramatically. Tell me, what do you see when you cast your glance over this ocean? Memories. Childhood days spent in the sun. Memories. Quite so. He looks out over the water once more, and so do you. A few tranquil moments pass as the waves lap against your thoughts. As for myself, when I consider this vast expanse before us, I see an empire. I see continents dotted with mighty cities. And shimmering along the soft curve of the sea's horizon, I picture the palaces that formed my paradise. Lost. What do you mean by lost? What do you mean? What do I mean? I mean just what I say. I had a very actual empire that I lost. <laughs> Suddenly, having all the air yep. of being deeply offended, he stares at you with utter incredulity. Well, don't just stand there gawking like an ape at an abacus. Or do you really mean to tell me you don't know who I am? <laughs> well, I guess I do know him. The very same. I am the Red Prince, the All Conqueror, the World Tamer, the Spouse of the Sun. Of course you know me. There's a brief moment's pause, during which his grandiloquent pose deflates ever so slightly. That said, I suppose I must own up to the fact that I find myself rather in between all conquering and world taming opportunities at the moment. 
The grandeur that is my fate has uh, hit a bit of a snag. But never you worry. For the throne I was destined, and my throne I shall have. Now, I have to tell him I have to dash, right? Because if I try and... If I say to come with me, he's going to try and remove one of the members of my party that I already have, right? Just to be clear here. Cool. Then by all means, dash. He watches you depart without another word, then turns back to face the sea. Okay. Back to searching. Searching. Maybe over here. Maybe we'll find it over here. Shells, leather scraps. Could probably use some leather scraps. Short stick, that's almost something. If only it had a shovel on the end. We'll look over here. Oh, hey, the poison's not quite cleaned up. There it is. I was like, where'd it go? Oh no, the black cat! No! No! <laughs> what the fuck? Sir Laura, don't you dare come into this poison. We can't afford to lose another. I don't think there's going to be any up here. I don't know. I don't think it's worth going up there. Hello. Okay. Guess we'll go over here. Draw your thank last you pathetic card so I can end this, Yugi. Bridget Revolution, thank you for the follow. Great, great to see ya. Um, I have not found a shovel. Should I be finding a shovel or should I be buying a shovel? Oh, wait. Wait! I can't get up there, though. Oh, wait. I can. <laughs> the alt button did not... <laughs> was not necessary. My keen eagle eyes were all that was necessary. Grab it. Let's go. Shovel time, baby! Let's go. Fuck yeah. Where was the fucking corpse we we're gonna unbury?
<laughs> Game's over. Victory achieved. We did it, folks. That's the game. That's the game. Ah! Oh. I don't like that. it interesting I did not get that um we did it we did it folks here lies a nameless inmate may he find the peace denied him in life in the hall of echoes intestines Hey. The ravaged among Hi. the ruins. That is all we are in Fort Joy. Um, okay. Well. Yeah, Fane's current weapon does shoot poison. That is true. Um. Huh. Like a whole little place here. Not sure how we get there, but anyways, um, back to, oh, I guess we could get there through like here, maybe there was another, I don't remember if there was a dirt pile nearby. No, there's another dirt pot pile. I don't, there's one in the town, I think and there might be one out here as well. I feel like it was around here. I think I think there's one outside as well and it was around here-ish. Oh, there it is. Sir Laura. Ooh. Okay. Uh Um, you can have that. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh. Got two of those somehow. Oh God. Makes her hair go away. The hell? You can toggle hats. Okay. Uh, that was terrifying. Just like her, all her hair disappeared. Where was it? Where is it? Um, I don't know where it went. I don't see it.
I'm looking as hard as I can when I don't see it. Did it just fall on the ground or something? No. Didn't go into her bag. Just vanished. Or maybe it did go into her bag. Aha, it did go into her bag. I just had to scroll down to find her bag. Uh, there's also this one too, it's in hers. <laughs> well, that looks fun on her. The hell? <laughs> Okay. Now to go into the place. Because I think there was one in the place as well. But I could be wrong. We're here. We're back, everyone. to go that way. That's where the murders happened. Doggy! What have you spotted, Fane? Oh, we can just take all his stuff now that he's dead. That's handy. Yeah, we're about to, I think we're about to wrap up here too. I'm getting tired and I got school in the morning. But yeah, thank you for dropping by and thanks for the follow again. Appreciate it having you on tonight. Um, maybe there wasn't another one. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I'm the fool. I don't know where I'm at, where I am anymore. <laughs> Alright, have fun watching the comet. Okay, well, we got a full party. Um, we got a shovel. We've got, what's his name? Uh, Sir Laura. That seems pretty good to me, all in a day's work. But, uh, also we've got stuff marked on our map or something. I don't know. There's a lot going on. I don't, I also don't quite know how the map how to read the map <laughs> to the underground I guess that's where we're supposed to be going theoretically but yeah I think next time we'll start doing some of that dangerous stuff this time we're gonna call it for now perhaps let's get a save in I like to do the save on on stream so we all know that I'm saving <laughs> don't want to accidentally end up uh, losing all our progress from not saving although the auto save is very good here so I don't think that would have been an issue all right let's uh, head over to chatting so we can wrap this up Woo. 
Ah. Mm. Been a good stream. Thank you all for joining me tonight. I hope you enjoyed. I think you did. I'm having fun. This is this is uh when I when I saw it was like a it was it was similar to that Dragon Age game I played. I was a little concerned because again I did not uh enjoy the Dragon Age game with the way it worked. But the way this one works, I actually really like. Um, well, really likes a strong word. I re I like it though. I like it. I think it's good. Um, I'm having fun with it. I I look forward to getting more into the meat of the game. So hopefully that'll that'll help. Uh. We understand things a little bit more. I, I feel like at this point I'm kind of floundering a little bit. And that's okay. But I, I think I'll get into it more once I'm no longer floundering. Uh, I'm going to send you over to Lachesis, my friend Lachesis. Uh, I hope you have a good time over there. Lachesis is playing Fire Emblem Engage. And has been streaming Fire Emblem Engage like all day, every day for the past week. It's crazy. <laughs> don't know how she's doing it um but yeah i hope you have a good time over there um next you'll be seeing me is uh friday for friday nights uh that'll be at 11 p.m on friday uh oh also if you haven't go check out my uh the video on my youtube uh three shots to duel that's my new youtube series and it's really fun. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! It's, it's a lot of fun. A really cool series I came up with uh, where we play AI-generated decks. Well, AI is a strong word, but randomly generated Yu-Gi-Oh! decks, sort of randomly. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. Oh boy, is it fun. So make sure you go check that out on my YouTube channel. Um, and you know, all the other videos, I put up a video every Friday. I'm going to be putting out some shorts as well. I got some shorts planned that are, those are going to be coming out on Thursdays. So, uh, if you like those, they're, they're coming out. Um, you can find all that on my socials, exclamation point, socials in chat. But yeah, Friday, Friday nights is, is happening again. We're going to be playing some more Fire Emblem Three Houses, um, with Haru. And then uh, Sunday, 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 will be uh, more of this, more Divinity at 10 p.m. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Let me make sure you follow me, all the places you can follow me with my socials there. It'll show you what you need to know. You can find my Twitter where I post where, I'm, where I post funny ha-has, my Facebook where I post when I'm going live, my YouTube where I post all, sort, all the VODs, including this one and all sorts of other videos. Um, my Patreon, where you can contribute to me on a monthly basis to help me live. Uh, you can also find a tip link where you can do the same, but once instead of every month. Uh, and it also makes alerts pop up. And you can also use my throne wish list to give me a gift if you like. Or you can use my TCD player affiliate link to get any single sealed product or accessories that you like. Uh, all while supporting the channel, all at the same time. If you can't afford to do any of those things, please don't. I'll be fine. I promise. And, uh, of course, you can join the Discord, hang out with me and Haru and uh, our wonderful little community there. Uh, Haru hosts watch parties and I host Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments uh, when I have time. I have not had time in about a year. <laughs> um, but we'll see. Uh, it'll happen eventually. Eventually I'll be done with grad school. But yeah, uh, that's about it. So, like I said, uh, I'll get over to Lachesis. When you get over there, be kind and courteous. That is all I ask of you. And uh, with all that said, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and have a wonderful rest of your night. Bye, everyone. Bye.